Hey engineers, this is Mr. Hernandez and in this video we're going to be going over um, how to make um, the table setting for a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, and for that table setting we're going to need a plate, a fork, and a cup. So we're going to go ahead and start with the cup here. Um, you can follow along with these directions and use these to help yourself um, complete this assignment. So the first thing that we're going to do is within Tinkercad, um, we're going to go to create new design. Um, so we're not working with a tutorial for this one, we're just starting brand new. And we're going to start with what I think is the easiest one, which is the cup. Um, now a cup is going to be cylindrical, so I'm going to drag out a cylinder to start with, and then we can start by setting the size of this. Um, so this cup needs to be 80 millimeters tall. So I'm going to change this number to 80. And it looks kind of odd here, but that's because it's too narrow right now. So I'm also going to expand this out until it is 40 millimeters in diameter on both sides. So you should see a 40 on both sides here. Now, if you're having trouble getting it exact, you can also click on the number here and change that. All right, so there's the start of our cup. And if we think about the shape of a cup, um, we're gonna need to remove space on the inside because that's where the liquid actually goes. So I, what I think is the easiest way to do this is to actually um, copy and paste this. So I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcuts. So that's Control C and Control V to create my second shape. And with this one, we're just going to make this a little bit smaller. Um, so the first one has a diameter of 40 millimeters on both sides. For this, I'm gonna go down to 35 on both sides. That's gonna make it just a little bit smaller. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise this up uh, because the cup needs to have a floor. So if I just leave this right here, we're gonna end up with a tube going all the way through. So I need to raise this up off the floor by grabbing this handle here and lifting up. And this is gonna go up five millimeters. You can see that number down at the bottom. All right, and now it's raised up off the ground. Um, and this cylinder right here, this represents the space that we're gonna remove on the inside of the cup. So I'm gonna switch it from solid to a hole and now we're almost done. What we need to do now is align these two shapes. So we need to select both shapes, then select the align tools over here. And I want these two shapes to be um, aligned horizontally like this. And you can see it's a little bit off center like that. So I'm gonna use this handle to get them perfectly lined up. And now that I still have them both selected, I'm going to click on join or group right here. And when you combine a solid with a hole, it actually uses the hole to cut material out of the solid. So now we have the cup. And the last thing that we need to do here is change the color of the cup to blue. And there it is. So there is our blue cup all ready to go. Um, now, you can change the name of your designs right here. So I would recommend just describing it. And then we can go here and click on new design. And that'll let us get started on the next um, shape here. Um, so the next shape that we're going to make here is going to be the plate. And the plate is a wide round shape. So we're once again going to start with the cylinder. Um, but for this cylinder, we're going to make it a very odd cylinder. because It's going to be very um, wide and very shallow. So for this one, I'm going to drag this out until it is... 120 millimeters on each side. Remember to do each side because we don't want this to be an oval. 
And for the height, we can shrink this down to just 10. All right. Now, in some ways, the plate is going to be simpler, and in some ways, it's going to be more complicated than the cup. Um, because this plate, I don't want it to just be a flat shape like this. I want to have a little bit of detail. So we're going to select this, and over here, we can see uh, a few more details about this. Um, we're going to give this a bevel, which is this option right here. And it's a little bit tough to see, but what the bevel does is it just puts a little angle on the edge right here. And we're going to maximize the size of the bevel. Once that's done, once again, I'm going to copy and paste this. And this time we're going to raise up our second part. We're going to raise it up three like this. Once again, we're going to switch this to a hole. And then we're going to select both shapes and use the align tool to get them both right on top of each other. All right, now with them both still selected, we can go ahead and group them. That's going to cut the top shape out of the bottom shape. And now we have a plate. Okay, so from the plate, we're gonna go ahead and move on to making the fork, which is the last model that we need for this section. Um, so let's go ahead and open up a new design. And the fork is gonna be made out of just a lot of rectangles. Um, which means that it's going to be a little bit odd looking for a fork, um, but this is the easiest way that we can um, use to make one in Tinkercad. Um, so let's start with a rectangle. Um, so for all of the rectangles for this part, we're going to have a height of just five. Because forks aren't really usually very uh, tall, they're not, they don't usually have very big handles. Um, so let's start by taking this rectangle and turning it into the handle of the fork. Um, so the width is going to go down to just 10. Actually, even smaller than that, it's going to go all the way down to 5. And then from here, the length is going to go up to 60. And that's the handle of the fork. Let's put that right there. And now let's make the end of the fork. So again, the height's going to go down to 5. Um, the width we're going to keep at 20, but the length is going to go down to 5. So now we have a long, thin handle, and this is going to form the top of the fork. So let's go ahead and get these guys lined up. So select the Align tool, and then we can grab this handle to keep this at the end, and then this one to center them. Go ahead and group those, and now we have the beginning of our fork. Um, now forks have um, those prongs at the end, so we're going to need to add those as well. And these are also going to be made from boxes. Um, so let's just go ahead and shrink this down to form the first one. So the height again is just going to be 5. The width is actually going to go all the way down to 1. And then the length I can leave at 20 right there. Now this one is going to need to be lined up on this edge right here. Uh, but this is going to have to get manually lined up. So let's go ahead and move this over. I'm using the arrow keys to make it a little bit easier. So that goes one step at a time. And then we just need to copy and paste this to form the other two tines or prongs. Now, what I think is the easiest way to do this um, to make sure that it's even on both sides is going to be um, to mirror this. So first, let's group this all together. And then I'm going to copy the entire shape, just like that. And then for this new copied shape, I'm going to select the mirror tool up here. I'm going to click on this one. That's going to flip it over um, top to bottom. So now I have two half forks. So let's go ahead and get these guys lined up. I'm just going to center them. 
and then also make sure that they're lined up forward and backwards. So now we've lined up our two half forks and I'm going to group them together. And now we have one complete fork. All right, engineers. Um, so that, those are the three models that you're required to make. Now I'm going to include a bonus here. Um, I want you guys to try and take the tools in Tinkercad and use them to make either one other part of the um, place setting. Um, so maybe a knife or a spoon um, or try and make one um, piece of food that you would want to have at your Thanksgiving table. Um, so for this one, have some fun with it, do your best, um, and just whatever you can uh, put together, just let me know what it is. Um, look forward to seeing what you guys come up with here. Um, but that's going to wrap up our lesson for this week. Um, so go ahead and work on that, turn that in, and after that, um, make sure that you guys enjoy uh, your Thanksgiving break.